So should you buy the 2019 LEGO Star Wars Resistance Y-Wing? Well, we've had a couple of Y-Wing iterations in the past, and what necessarily makes this one different or more unique? Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt. If you guys are unfamiliar with my Should You Buy series here on the channel, essentially I'm going to give you a fast-paced rundown of any given LEGO set. And today we're talking about the brand new Rise of Skywalker Resistance Y-Wing. This is set number 75249. Comes with 578 pieces. Comes with three minifigures and two droids. One of which is going to be a complete new DO. So first off, let's talk a little bit about these mini figures here. The first one's going to be Poe Dameron. He is, of course, in the brand new Episode 9 attire. He has a white shirt with like a balaclava or like a shemog. He also does come with a crossbody satchel. If you guys have seen the trailer uh, for the Rise of Skywalker, this mini figure is going to look pretty familiar. He also comes with a short blaster and then some just generally cool printing on the front of his torso and the mini figure. Overall, a great new Poe Dameron being introduced here. The second mini figure and the new character in this movie is going to be Zori Bliss. I gotta be completely honest with you. I have no idea what this character is going to be doing in the movie, but the minifigure itself looks absolutely fantastic. My favorite part's actually gonna be the helmet itself. It's like a gold helmet that is wrapped around pretty far back, almost like a ponytail, but just the helmet, if that kind of makes sense. It also does come with a black visor, and the rest of the minifigure is gonna be completely dark red and has a couple of really cool details and designs. And her weapon of choice is going to be the old school flintlock pistol, which is kind of cool. Next up here, we have the First Order Snowtrooper, which is a pretty generic minifigure we've gotten before of course this one does most notably come with a brand new cape which I don't know if that necessarily makes it better or not, but I guess it's a plus. You're getting a really cool First Order Snow Trooper. And also is worth pointing out that my personal favorite helmet of the First Order is the Snow Trooper one. Up next, we have a brand new Astromech Droid. This is just a generic Astromech Droid from the looks of it. It is a teal color, which is definitely a little bit more unique. It also does have a noticeably different top to the Astromech Droid than R2-D2, for instance. So pretty cool. This does obviously fit in the Y-Wing, but nothing too crazy going on there. And then last and certainly not least, we have the brand new DO minifigure droid person thing. I guess it's not technically a minifigure. What I do like about this is it's all one piece, which is pretty nice. And I also do believe it is scaled correctly to a minifigure. So that's super cool. Again, I don't know too much about DO in terms of the droid itself, but it is really cool. I do like the concept that is green and white and does have some pretty cool printing where the wheels would be. So that's super cool. And that's going to kind of be it for the minifigures and characters that come in the Resistance Y-Wing. So now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about this Y-Wing itself. Now we have gotten Y-Wings before. I believe the last Y-Wing playset we got was in 2016. Now that being said, it's eerily similar to that Y-Wing in terms of design. I can tell you for a fact that the back wings are extremely similar in terms of technique, which I guess is a plus and a minus. I do like the look of it, so that's why it's a plus, but it also is a slight minus because we've kind of seen this set before. Now, of course, there are some really cool differences between the older version, and if I do find the older version of my collection, I'll make an actual comparison video. But just highlighting some of the really cool features on the Y-Wing, the top turret does move 360. It is posable, which is super nice. So of course, great playability features. Also, the cockpit does open up very, very simply, very smooth process. All the parts that you see around the cockpit are all gonna be stickered. So of course I did try my best to make sure I did put those on right. In fact, I'm pretty sure I messed up on one of them. So I do apologize for that. It's also worth mentioning that the front is very thin. In fact, I think it's thinner than the older Y-Wing that we've got this past year. But as you move back towards the middle mainframe of the Y-Wing, you can see there's a lot of inspiration from the older Y-Wing, especially with the grooves and all the greebling that we have in the back to give it a really nice rustic feel. A really cool function, which is also very similar, pretty much a carbon copy of the other version that we got back in 2016, is going to be the missile bay. Of course, you turn the knob back here and the missiles do drop out, which I found super, super cool. So again, it's got really nice play features, which is nice. It does come with three missiles and to put them back in, all you have to do is literally just throw them back in this middle bay right here and then you are ready to go. Now, of course, the wings themselves are different. All the details you see, again, are all stickers. There are virtually no printed tiles um, that give any sort of resistance vibes, which is kind of a bummer. A couple of different things comparatively to the older Y-Wing. The engines are slightly different. I believe the overall design and shape is slightly different. Mostly talking about like the little aspects back here behind the wing. And then the last play feature, I guess, is just very simple missile shooters on the bottom here. Nothing crazy. Again, very standard procedures that we've seen in a lot of LEGO sets recently. But overall, the Y-Wing itself has a pretty good weight. It's very easy to one hand this guy, um, which is awesome. Again, playability, swooshability features is something I always pay attention to on this channel. One of the most notable differences between this version and the older version of the Y-Wing is the color tone. Of course, the Rebel Y-Wing was light bluish gray and yellow, and this is offering a new perspective. It has uh, regular red and white, which is a pretty cool color scheme, not gonna lie. I do like the look of it overall. It has a really nice appeal and aesthetic, but in all honesty, it's something 
that we've gotten before and I'm not too crazy about it. So in the end, should you buy the resistance Y-Wing for retail price, I gotta give it a hard pass. Now I'm not one to normally go with price per piece ratio. The minifigures are pretty cool. We are getting a brand new Poe Dameron and the brand new Zori Bliss and the DO. So the minifigure lineup itself is pretty cool. However, I gotta say the Y-Wing is light. It feels a little lackluster for the retail price it's at. So got a lot of play features, super fun build, and I still do recommend it, just not necessarily for how it's priced. So guys, that's gonna wrap up this should you buy of the brand new 2019 Rise of Skywalker Resistance Y-Wing. Let me know what you guys think of this thing in chat. Also, I'm thinking about bringing Monday should you buy should you buy mondays to the channel hopefully having it be like a schedule and matt's mind should be coming back next week too so hope you guys enjoyed of course drop a like if you guys haven't already and subscribe to the channel let me know down below in the comments what set you want to see me should you buy next and that's all we got for today guys i'll see y'all later take it easy peace